we are going to be adding with base 10 blocks. Our learning target says I can add to find the sum of two numbers. Let's discuss some vocabulary before we get started. We are going to start with the pieces that we are adding together. So in this case, it is 647 and 425. And those words are called add-ins. The answer to an addition problem, in this case 1072, is known as the sum. So today we are going to be searching for the sum when we put two add-ins together. Let's look at our first equation. We have 562 plus 676. Our first step is to draw the chart and base 10 blocks for each number. So I notice that we have the hundreds, tens, and ones, but sometimes when we add, we need to do some regrouping. So we're also going to draw the thousands in our chart. Okay, so we're going to start by labeling our thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And since we have two numbers, we also want to draw that line down the middle. We're going to start by drawing 562 with five hundreds, six tens, and two ones. And then we have 676, which has six hundreds, seven tens, and six ones. Step two, start in your ones place. Count the ones. If you have 10 or more, regroup and draw a 10 rod. So let's look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So we do not have more than 10. So we are not going to regroup. So we're going to draw our place value lines to help us organize our numbers. So in our ones place, we have that seven. Okay, we're actually not going to write that seven down there, but instead we'll write it in our answer. Okay, step three, move to your tens place. Count the tens. If you have ten or more, regroup and draw a 100 block. All right, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we know that thirteen is more than ten. So what we're going to do is we're going to regroup. So I'm going to start in the top. I know that I have six tens in my first number. Seven, eight, nine, ten, which brings me down into my second. I know that ten tens is the same as one hundred. So I would regroup it and I would draw another one hundreds block in my hundreds. Remember, these tens are now gone. They're no longer a part of the tens group. Instead, they've been regrouped to a 100, which means I am left with three tens. Let's count our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget that new one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, again, we have a number that is bigger than ten, which means we need to regroup and draw a thousands block. So I'm going to start at the top again and stop when I get to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I know that 10 tens is the same as 1,000. Remember, those, ten, those hundreds, excuse me, are now gone. I'm left with two hundreds. Let's count our thousands. One. No regrouping there. So, 562 plus 676 equals 1,237. Let's do another one. Here we have 4,624 plus 373. So let's start by labeling our groups for our base 10 blocks. And we're going to 
draw them. So I've got 4,000, 2, 3, 4, 600, which means I need 600s here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 tens, and 4 ones. Then I have 373, no thousands, 3 hundreds, 7 tens, and 3 ones. All right, step two says to start in our ones place and count the ones. If we have ten or more, we're going to regroup. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is not more than ten, so we are not going to regroup. So my ones place is going to have seven. Let's go to our tens place. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is not 10 or more, which means we cannot turn them into 100, so we have 9 tens. Let's count our hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, we know that we can't regroup with 9 pieces, so we're going to have 9 hundreds. Let's count our thousands. 1, 2, 3, Four. We know we cannot regroup with four. So our sum is 4,997. We did not have to do any regrouping here, but we added our pieces together with our base 10 box. Let's do another one. Okay, let's start by drawing that chart. Okay, 6,842. 6,000. That's a lot of pieces to draw here. So bear with me. Four, five, six. Eight hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four tens. And two ones. Then we have 2,469, 1,000, two thousands, four hundreds, six tens, and nine ones. Okay, let's start in our ones place and count our ones. Remember, if we've got ten or more, we can regroup. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have more than 10. We can do some regrouping. Remember, 10 ones is the same as 1 10. So we're going to count again and stop when we get to 10. Now I notice that this box right here already has 9 in it. So all I need to do is take one more from the top, and that will give me a group of 10. And I know that those 10 ones give me another 10. And I am left with just one one left over. Let's look at our tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 again. I guess we can do some regrouping, right? So let's start and let's count again and stop when we get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put those in a group. Remember, we stop at ten because ten tens is the same as one hundred. And we're left down here with just one ten. All right, let's count our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can we regroup? Yes, we can, because we have 10 or more. So I know that we can start by recounting. And let's start in our first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't forget that new one. 10. And 10 hundreds is the same as 1,000. How many hundreds do we have left over? 
we have 3. Okay, let's count our thousands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Can we regroup? No, we can't because we need 10 or more, but we only have 9. All right, so we've counted our base 10 blocks and we've written the number in standard form. So our sum is 9,311. I want you to solve this one on your own. Pause the video. Show your work in some way on your paper, dry erase board. And unpause the video when you're ready to check your answer. Are you ready? Okay. 5,335 plus 3,835 equals a sum of 9,170. Make sure that you did your regrouping correctly. We had to regroup in our ones place and our hundreds place this time. Remember, we regroup when we have a group of 10 because 10 ones equals a 10, 10 tens equals 100, 100 equals 10 100s equals 1,000. If you got it correct, congratulations. You have aced your base 10 block addition. If you didn't get it correct, that's okay. We're going to keep practicing. Take a look at the screen and try and find your error. Keep working hard with your addition.